to One Left Gym. When we got the Bronco, I did a quick wash and ceramic coating, and to be honest, I didn't think it felt as good as some waxes I've used. And then this just happened. I don't think I've ever seen a bird poop this big in my life. <laughs> we have hawks in the area, but I'm putting my money on the Canadian geese. Nasty, mean birds. Anyway, I thought, I wonder how easy it'll be to just hose it off because of the ceramic coating. Well, this was the result. And yes, that's my finger trying to flick the last poo remnants off. Yummy. So I wasn't too thrilled with the ceramic coating's performance. It was a cheap one I got a while back, so it's probably my fault. I was thinking I'd polish it off and go back to my normal paint sealer and wax routine that has worked well on other cars. I had just gotten an email from Shine Armor asking if I do a video about their graphene ceramic spray in exchange for a free sample. That seemed like bizarre timing to me. I've read that it's okay to use a coating like this over an existing ceramic coating, so I said, what the hell, okay. But I wanted to test it first before I wasted my time doing the whole car. For my test, I decided to clean two doors and apply the shine armor to just one of them. The directions say to spray it on a microfiber cloth to apply it. Since the sample pack they sent included two microfiber cloths, I assumed one was intended for application. It goes on like water. You can't see it in the video, but I can see where it's being applied. The directions also say to wait a couple of minutes and then go over it with a clean microfiber towel. Again, since they sent two, I assumed the second was for removal. Smart. Not only was there no resistance wiping it off, I honestly couldn't see it on the surface anymore. This does seem like the easiest on and off application I've run across. Makes you wonder how well it's going to work though. I think I've always subconsciously associated wax's difficulty to apply and remove with how much protection it offered. Oh, you idiot! Okay, scientific test number one. I ran my thumb along both doors. As soon as my thumb hit the shine armor door, it slid right across. No resistance. Remember, the Bronco still has the original ceramic coating on it, so the left door isn't completely devoid of protection. I waited the four hours specified in the directions before subjecting the shine armor to scientific test number two, the water test. It does appear that the water sheets right off the shine armor door on the right better than the left. My conclusion is that this is the greatest protectant ever. Okay, you all know I can't make any claims like that until it's actually been on the Bronco for some time and I see how it holds up. All I can say at this point is that it goes on really easy, feels slick, and looks shiny. I think that's enough reason for me to detail the entire Bronco with it, and then I'll see how it does over time. If the results are stunning or disappointing, I'll come back later and update the description and or comments. If you also want to give this stuff a try, there'll be a link to it with a 20% discount code in the description below. Thanks for watching this riveting edition of Bronco Bebop. The poop was pretty funny though, right? Anyway, see you later. <laughs>